So how, how does it feel? You're in a lab and you're seeing things presumably no one has ever seen before down the microscope. Yeah, What's that like? it's, 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 it's a fabulous feeling. I mean, science is very unforgiving. It's, uh, you know, we're essentially working with a blank book. We're trying to fill in the pages, you know, mm -hmm. essentially write your book from scratch, yes. but with no prior knowledge. Um, and and that can be a real challenge. So, you know, we have, we establish hypotheses, you know, how something might work. We just design experiments to test that hypothesis. More often than not, we're wrong in our understanding, or we have to refine it in some way. Um, An experiment that goes, that has a negative result isn't necessarily uh, it, the a bad thing, it just, Exactly. Points you in a different direction. It, exactly, and that's the great thing. Thought, the, anyway. the worst ones are the ones when you get ambiguities. Yes. So you're sitting on the fence, you're not going either way. I mean, to, to address your question, so occasionally our ideas are correct, our models are correct. We, you know, we do a series of experiments and they say, right, this is how it works. And then it's a eureka moment. And, you know, there's been a number of times during my career, and this happens in my lab, uh, you know, periodically, you know, somebody will discover something really unexpected, really, you know, initially we'll think we've made a mistake, but then we'll repeat the experiment, we, you know, three or four times, and then, you know, you're confident that this result is, is legit, and it's incredible.